It's beautiful. It's hard to believe that somewhere out there in that sea of stars, planets are being destroyed by the Gnosis phenomenon. In the distant past, people were forced into space by unavoidable circumstances. 4,000 years since then, they never encountered any life forms they could call neighbors. Just when everyone had given up and assumed that humans were alone in the universe, the Gnosis approached us in order to erase mankind from the cosmos. My grandfather used to say that all of creation has a meaning and purpose, and that that's why we're allowed to exist in the universe. If that's true, then perhaps we are fated to perish. Maybe the universe itself is rejecting us. Maybe we are the ones that are rejecting the universe by trying to change that fate. Is that why you built Cosmos? The planet where I was born was destroyed by the Gnosis. I lost my mother there as well. <sighs> I was the only one that survived. Sometimes I don't know if what I'm doing is to atone for not being able to do anything or to take revenge against those who took everything from me. But I can say that even if the universe desires otherwise, she is our hope. I think I understand how you feel. I lost my parents on Milsha. Xion. Why am I here? What should I be doing? Where am I going? It's as if everything is hidden in a deep fog on a distant shore. But right now, if that's where hope lies, I want to grant your wish. I'm walking may be a mistake. I don't know for sure. Will you walk down this path with me? Oh, Kevin. Xi'an, are you feeling joy? Joy? Yes. I'm happy. Very happy. Happy? I feel fulfilled. By this memory? Yes, it's a wonderful memory. The days I spent with him, feelings of warmth. I want to stay like this forever. Forever? Even if I were to be born again. Eternally. Over and over. Over and over. Over and over. But... We went into the hypersphere to rescue the Elsa, and then Telos and Cosmos... <gasps> Cosmos! Where is everyone? Oh, where am I?
Don't move! <gasps> Junior, wait! Junior, that's not an enemy. What? Oh, Shion! <laughs> Junior, why did you do that? Oh, sorry. I thought you were an enemy. <laughs> Could you get off me? Oh, sorry. I'm glad everyone's okay. Actually... We can't find Cosmos or the crew of the Elsa. I'm sure they were transported with us, but... Transported? Do you mean a warp transfer? Yeah. We don't know where we are yet, but it was probably that light. Oh, no. Jin! What's wrong, Xion? <gasps> it can't be! But it is! There's no mistaking it! That's Labyrinthos! Labyrinthos? From Milsha? Wasn't it destroyed during the conflict? Yeah, I can't believe it either, but there's no doubt about it. If that exists, that means we're on Milsha at least 15 years ago. Do you mean we're in the past? I don't know about that. We were in the past when we dove into Cosmos' subconscious. Yes, that might be possible as well.
Let's go. Jin. Quiet. Damn it. I can't die before I rendezvous with the main unit. Those are combat realities. Looks like they're against Federation soldiers. What do you want to do? It's not going to last long. We can't just abandon someone who's hurt. Let's help him. I'll handle this. you drop your weapons I'll shoot you if you don't follow it can't be lieutenant Virgil Virgil the testament yes he looks a little different but there's no doubt it's him but how how do you know my he's hurt don't touch me Oh, don't move, and let me treat your wound. What should we do? We help him. What else? But he's a testament, right? Don't ask me. I don't know. His wounds are serious. If we don't do something soon... We can't leave him here. Yes. At any rate, let's find a safe location. Momo, please lend me a hand. I'm going to stop the bleeding. Okay. That should do it. Let's hurry and get him somewhere he can rest. Someone there? That's... Feb? Hey, wait! Xion! Virgil's getting worse. His condition is critical. We have to find somewhere to treat him, quickly! But where? Wait. There should be a church up ahead. A church? Yes, when I woke up in this forest, I felt strange. But if this is Milsha, and that's Feb, then this is a place I know well. If we follow her, we should arrive at an old church. 
There's no time to hesitate. Let's carry him there. We saw this place in Cosmos's subconscious. Yes. I met Fabronia here. The place holds a lot of memories for me and Feb. He can rest inside here. Let's go. Is anyone there? We have an injured person. May we let him rest here? Who are you? <gasps> Feb! Feb! We've got guests! That's... <gasps> me? What's all the noise? Who are you people? <gasps> well, what's going on? Uh, we found someone hurt nearby. His wounds are serious and we can't move him, so we came here. Someone hurt? <gasps> oh no! Hurry! This way! Fabronia, wait! This man is a Federation soldier. Do you realize what you're doing? He may be an enemy soldier, but he's still hurt. I don't think that's a good idea. You're a UTIC organization realian, remember? It's bad enough that you're here at all. UTIC? Please, he's going to die. I know. Take him to the back room. Maybe I should have Professor Mizrahi be a little more strict in the management of realians. You're a valuable transgenic model. We can't lose you before your growth is complete. I'm sorry, but I can't let him die. Fabronia? If you want to call the soldiers, go ahead. <sighs> Fine. I wouldn't want to cause a problem with your mental balance over something like this. I'll pretend I don't know about it. Her maintenance medical kit is outside. It's for realians, but it should be better than nothing. Thank you. Don't mention it. It's not like he's going to live anyway. Uh.
He's suffered heavy damage to his vital organs. Nanomachine treatment won't be enough. The stem cell germination can't keep up. We have to transplant the basic tissue he needs. Damn. There's nothing we can do. Please, transplant my organs. That should compensate for what's missing. Transplant? No offense, but you're a Realian. There's never been a case of transplanting organs from a Realian to a human. I'm a transgenic type. I was designed by Professor Mizrahi as a template for next-generation Realians. My body composition is virtually identical to human beings. The cells should have an affinity for each other, so please... Even if that's true, what about you? If we remove your organs, then you'll need transplants as well. If we temporarily suspend my internal circulation, I can last for several hours. If I return to Labyrinthos during that time, I can regenerate there. I'll be fine. Please, help him. Uh... He's going to die. There's no other way. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, please. Is he... Did the transplant go well? Yes. With that quack as the surgeon, I wasn't too sure, but somehow he managed it. He's sleeping in the back now. Don't worry. The others are with him. I see. Good. You should rest here for a while. Replication may be finished, but your body cycle still hasn't returned. Yes, I'll do that. Um, thanks for saving him. Neb, are you okay? Yes, I'm okay, Xion. Everything's fine. Your name's Xion? Yeah. Did you and your friends come in that green ship? Green ship? Yeah. A pretty ship I've never seen before came down by the East Cave. You were on it, right? Could that be the Elsa? Yes. It makes sense for the Elsa to have been sent to the same place with us. We should check it out. I can't believe you went and did this! They're going to question my supervision! I did it on my own. I won't bring any trouble upon you. I certainly hope not. It's about time for the organization to show up. Could I ask you all to leave? It's only going to complicate matters if you're here. What about him? Sorry, but he has to stay right here. There's going to be serious trouble if someone finds out I helped an enemy soldier. Once we're gone, you can do as you please. All right. Xi'an, thanks for telling me about the ship. Sure! Goodbye! Someone there? Hmm. Newcomers, eh? Don't you people get tired of harassing me? Um, sir, are you in charge of this place? Huh? You aren't with Utic? Utic? Don't be insulting! Sounds like something's going on here. 
If you're not with Utic, then it's none of your business. Leave now. I'm sorry, but we have our own business. We must go past here. Past here? Hmm. Ah, have you come to investigate that ship? Our friends are on board. Mm -hmm. That's not going to be easy. My granddaughter Mai is investigating it now. But I imagine Utic soldiers are already crawling around inside. Utic soldiers? Yes. I'll never forgive Utic. They took everything. All the valuable resources from the mine. The livelihood of the people who depended on it. And even the life of my son, Tethla. Cave-in? No. This explosion was caused by weapons. That's loophole. I told that girl time and again to avoid combat. Loophole? Loophole is the auto-tech Tethla used. Mai believes her father's soul lives on in that machine. Together with loophole, she protects this land. One auto-tech is hardly enough to take on you, Tick. What do you want to do? Xion! Sir, I'm afraid we have to go into those caves. Is that all right? Should be fine. If you run into Mai, tell her to stop fighting and come back! Will do. By the way, we never asked your name. My name? It's Eisen Magus.
I'd imagine that was loophole. It looked like it took some damage. We should hurry. Are you Mai? Your grandfather's worried about you. Why don't you stop fighting and go back to him? Grandfather is worried about me? You're lying! You won't fool me, you tick. Hey, we're not lying! He really said that! I can't believe you'd use a child to try to convince me! You're despicable! <gasps> don't tell me you already got grandfather! Listen to us! Relax. We just need to get to the ship that's up ahead. We met your grandfather on the way. The ship ahead? So you're Utic soldiers, just like I thought. You're planning on using that ship to destroy this mine. We're not gonna do anything. Look, we're not related to Utic. Kids, stay quiet! I'm not a kid! Damn it, this is a waste of time. Just get out of our way! Uh, you've gone far enough. You're not taking another step. I won't let you. You're not getting away with this any longer. It's all right. Please, Mai, listen to us. I don't need to listen to you. I won't let you take anything else from me. I won't ever forgive you. Lupo!
super drive!
drive. gonna take loophole from me aren't you I know what comes next I'm ready for it go ahead and kill me just like you killed my father and the people from the mine get a grip if we wanted to kill you we would have done it a long time ago don't worry our attacks on loophole were just enough to temporarily interfere with its drive system it should be back to normal soon I don't need your pity we're not pitying you Whoa, Shion! Our friends are on that ship, and if you keep getting in our way, we're not gonna hold back. That ship is as important to us as this place is to you. You, of all people, should understand our feelings. <sighs> My! My! Grandfather? Oh, you're hurt. You foolish tomboy! I'm sorry. They talked about you, so I thought these Utic soldiers had gotten you too. These people have nothing to do with Utic. Oh, I swear your rashness is going to be the death of me. Can't you be a little more ladylike? The mine workers all ran away in fear of Utic. 
If I don't protect this place, who will? And besides, Daddy was... This place connects you to your father, doesn't it? Don't worry. We won't tread on your memories. Your ship should be up ahead. My... If you're done here, then go! I don't need any more trouble. Thank you. Huh. Jeez, she's just as stubborn and aggressive as a certain someone else we know. Right, Xion? Why are you looking at me? You're alive, too. I knew it'd take more than that to do you guys in. <laughs> We're not gonna go that easy. Chief! Thank God! I thought I'd never see you again. Alan! Hey! Where's Cosmos? Does anyone know where she is? Chief, about Cosmos... What's wrong? We recovered the ES craft and Cosmos. But there was nothing we could do. What? What do you mean? It's best you see for yourself. Assistant number two, show her the way. Chief, this way. was damaged during the fight with Telos. <gasps> we can repair damage to her frame or her control program, but there's nothing we can do about the black box once it's broken. That's not true. We can fix her. You're here, and so's the professor. Chief, you know the only one who could repair the core is Kevin, the designer. Cosmos will never move again. Cosmos? No! Open your eyes, Cosmos! Cosmos! How about on your side? Found anything? Nothing yet. There are no signs of the Elsa or any ESs in the UNN region. There ain't even a log? None. How is that possible? If they were transferred in some sort of accident, a log should exist. They may have been reduced to Planck scale along with the hypersphere. No way! Uh, where have you gone, little master? And Master Guinan is away too! Uh, little master! <gasps> Committee member Yuli Mizrahi. I assume from the tone of your voice that something's gone wrong. The little master vanished along with the research target. We're searching for them now. What? You still don't know where they are? Unfortunately, no. I see. Committee member Mizrahi, I presume you did not contact us to check on the situation. Yes, there's been a new development in the Federation government. I wanted to inform you at once. You sound serious. What is this new development? The Federation government is moving forward with plans for a full-scale invasion. What? Where? The birthplace of the Ormus organization, Planet Mictum. The Federation fleet has already set course and is employing the newly completed Merkaba. The Merkaba? So Dmitry Yuryev is behind this? Yes. If something isn't done, the chaotic wars of the past may descend upon us again. Or perhaps something even worse. Are they planning to wipe out Ormus? 
What should we do? We'll wait and see, depending on the situation. The Federation military may become our enemy? Dimitri must have a reason for heading to Mictum. That man wouldn't move the entire fleet just to suppress them. So there's something there, huh? There was a record of an object in the remaining fragments of the Y data inside Momo. That object was taken by a faction of the immigrant fleet when they left Lost Jerusalem. An object? The Eternal Circle. Zarathustra. Zarathustra? We're still investigating exactly what it is. But Dimitri has the Y data as well, and his is in a more complete form than ours. I have a feeling his actions may be related to that object. <sighs> oh. You have the ESs and the emulators, so you may be able to stop Dimitri. You would receive full support from Representative Helmer in such a case. Helmer? Things are that bad? But we can't do anything if the Elsa is missing. Leave it to us. We'll find them no matter what. And then, if that old man is doing something stupid, we'll go out there and slap him upside the head. Yes. I'm sure Little Master would like to be a part of that, too. I'm sorry for always asking the impossible from you. I'll head there myself as soon as I can. This is hopeless. Without a transplant of the actual base tissue, we can't save him. Please, transplant my organs. That should compensate for what's missing. Is that Feb? Oh, that's right. It's Lieutenant Virgil's surgery. No. Think what that would do to you. We can't lose a valuable realian to save the life of one soldier. Our cells should have affinity for each other. I'll be fine. Please, help him. Wait, that's not Jin. You sound like your mind is made up. Fine, we'll try it. That's... Mm -hmm. Was I dreaming? Yes, I remember. That boy saved him. Jin and the others weren't there then. Vessels of Anima are gone? What's wrong? Uh, there's a little bit of a problem. You'd better explain what's going on! Like I said, the vessels of Anima are missing. There's nothing wrong with the crafts themselves, but the power cores have just disappeared. How can that happen? What caused it? I have no idea. Perhaps it's a negative side effect caused by our time travel. Yes, yes. Speaking of side effects, things may get even worse. What? Even more stuff's gonna go wrong? Well, we're not really supposed to be here in this world. That contradiction is slowly but surely building up latent heat energy. If we let it keep going, it'll almost certainly end in destruction. Destruction of what? This universe. What? It, well, that might be an exaggeration, but it will at least blow away this region of space. That's how dangerous this latent heat energy thing is. What do we do? That doesn't sound good. Is there anything we can do? Well, 
There is something. We may be able to return to our original time if we contain this latent heat energy with a field and interface with the space-time continuum. No problem, then. Let's get started. Let me finish. All I'm saying is that it's theoretically possible. We don't have anything capable of generating a field powerful enough to contain it. There's nothing we can do. Cosmos, will you ever wake up again? Will you ever say good morning to me again? Chief, you're here again? When we get back to our original time, I'm sure we can find a way to fix Cosmos. So... Alan? Yes? Do you really think this is that Milsha? It's difficult to believe, but the data Momo's gathered all points to this as the Milsha 15 years ago. I don't understand. This is definitely Milsha from back then. I've met Feb, Lieutenant Virgil, and even my younger self. But I can't just accept it so easily. If this is really Milsha back then, a terrible fate is going to befall this planet in just a few days. Can you believe that? Well, Jin was saying, if this is really the world of the past, then our actions now could have a dramatic effect on the future. It's certainly true that we don't know what might happen to us if we interfere with the past. But if that's true, doesn't that mean we might be able to change the past? Don't you wish you could change the past, Alan? Well, yeah, I have all sorts of things in the past I'd like to change. I think most people do. Everyone regrets something. I bet everyone wishes they could redo things. But it's not a good idea to interfere with this world without understanding the situation. That may be the logical way of thinking. But even so... Damn it! Everything is happening at once. I feel like I'm gonna go crazy. Chief, you're probably tired. How about getting a little more rest? You're right. I think I'll head to the city to relax. What? Chief, we shouldn't go outside until we understand our current situation. I have to do something. I can't just sit around here. Besides, we'll never really figure out our situation unless we go outside. Chief! Hey, wait a minute! I can't bear just standing around. You can interfere with this world! You can go tell on me if you want. Chief... <laughs> it's okay. I'm just gonna go visit the city. I'll be back in two or three hours, so tell the others not to worry. According to the information we have, the city is in a battle zone with Federation descent troops. Why do you want to go there? Wait a minute. I'll go with you. That's okay. No, it's not. It's dangerous to go alone. Cosmos isn't here, so I'm going to protect you. Chief? Shh, hide. Is that? 
that a Utic transport? Looks like it was in an accident. Was it attacked by the Federation? Beats me. It's hard to tell from here. <gasps> Wait! Someone's coming out. Damn, this isn't good. Looks like a slaughterhouse in here. Oh, Supervisor Uzuki, over here. What? Dad! Huh? Dad? He's... Yes, it's definitely him. Suo Uzuki, my father. How are the subjects inside? No good. They're all destroyed with their maintenance beds. We won't be able to use them. Federation military isn't taking any chances. Thanks to them, the project is going to be delayed even further. What should we do? Just retrieve the vital data, then dispose of the rest. Leave the Realians. We'll have the disposal team incinerate them later. Let's go! Oh, this is awful. What was the point of this? Let's see, model number DZ200330. Looks like they're combat realians. What are you doing, Chief? This. Hey, that's an ID. Lend me your connection gear. Sure, but why? I'm gonna modify this ID and make us our own. Well, what? It looks like she was a UTIC scientist. A Realian coordinator, actually. There are spare uniforms inside, too. What? Chief, what are you doing? There's something I want to check. You can go on back. I can't leave you alone. Where are you planning on going? My father probably headed for Labyrinthos. I suspected he was connected with you, Tick. I have to find out what the connection was. If you're coming with me, then hurry up and change. Things don't look very friendly here. No surprise there. The Federation front line is only 20 kilometers away. Although, the fact that they haven't declared martial law yet must mean they're not too concerned. Why doesn't the Federation just attack? They can't. The Realian troops that compose the Federation's main force can't be used. Why not? Have you forgotten? The UTIC organization has the ability to make Realians lose control. Though I don't think they've been able to expand to the whole star cluster. The Song of Nephilim! Yes. On top of that, there are a lot of civilians here, as well as the Zohar. They can't just hit the city with interstellar weapons.
ID, please. Wait a minute. You're with the 34th Special Transport Team? There was a report that your team was attacked and destroyed. Um, yeah. We got lucky and passed out. So we escaped danger. <laughs> Glad to hear it. So, what happened to the cargo? The cargo? The Realians. Oh. They were all destroyed. I hope that doesn't delay the project. A connection experiment using the test subject is going to begin soon. You should hurry. Supervisor Uzuki isn't going to be happy if you keep Professor Mizrahi waiting. Professor Mizrahi's on the fourth floor. Say, Chief, isn't this the hospital we saw when we dove into Cosmos's Encephalon? But it looks too heavily guarded for a hospital. No! What? This is no hospital. When I was a child, I thought it was a hospital. But this is a holding ward for the test subjects that are necessary for their project. Stop! Ahead is Labyrinthos. You can't pass without a dedicated ID. I knew it. This facility is part of Labyrinthos. What? Uh, um, here's my ID. No. Your ID doesn't permit you to pass through here. Return to your work. You two, what are you standing around for? Upload the test subject's personal patterns to Central. What? Yo... Yoki Mizrahi? Didn't you hear me? I told you to upload the test subject's personal patterns. Oh, yes sir. Let's see. The test subject's personal data... Hurry! Yes, sir. Currently cleared through list 177, list 281. 15 left until upload is complete. Were you just assigned here? Y yes sir I see. I'd heard I was getting new assistance. How's list 281? Yes, sir. List 281. This is a list of patients in the hospital. Is it done yet? Oh. L list 281 clear. Upload complete. Um, what are 
these test subjects? This is the data from test subjects capable of linking with vessels of anima. We're going to control their fear and perform a Zohar connection experiment. Weren't you informed? No. I'm sorry. Chief, look! Vessels of anima! Yes, but why here? I have no idea. And what does he mean by linking people to vessels of anima? Look at this. It's the Zohar. You're right. Looking at this, it appears the vessels of anima serve as a mediator to approach the Zohar. I thought they were the power reactors for the ESs. Actually, they're transmitters. No, more like translators. Their power is the byproduct of acting as mediators between people and the Zohar. They were calibrated here, and what we were using was the finished product. But this data... I wonder why they needed to relay it through Reallians. He said something about controlling fear. Maybe that's related. Hmm, I wonder. Ch Chief, look! <gasps> Mom's name! Why is she on the list of test subjects? You there! Yes, sir! Go fetch my assistant, Kevin Winnicott. I want to know Fabronia's condition. Kevin Winnicott? Does he mean our Kevin? What's the matter? Hurry up! Oh, yes, sir. What is going on? This is the first I've ever heard of Kevin being here. I wonder if it's just someone with the same name. This is the first I've heard of it, too. Kevin didn't tell me what he did before he joined Vector. But his Hilbert effect theory and his knowledge of Reallian architecture makes sense if he was Professor Mizrahi's assistant. Dare you barge in here without knocking? You? You're... Hmm. Have we met before? No. Um, are you Mr. Winnicott? What? Is my name that unusual? Oh, no. I'm sorry. Um, Professor Mizrahi is calling you. He wants you to report on Fibronia's condition. Oh. It's already that time? Understood. I'll get things ready. Tell him I'll be right up. That boy is Kevin? His face looks similar, but he doesn't have the same temperament. Yes, but I'm pretty sure it's him. That's Kevin. So he was involved with you, Tick. Chief! Chief! What? Look at this! Outline of the managing OS for a weapon system to combat the Gnosis phenomenon. The effectiveness of a human-modeled weapon for Gnosis combat? Basic theory of a strategically multiple operation system that obeys the rules of order? Hey! This is Cosmos' basic theory! It sure is. He must have already been working on the basic design back then. It really is, Kevin. Chief, what are you doing? What else? Taking a backup. What? Here? That's crazy! I know it's risky. But with this, we may be able to reboot Cosmos. Sorry, could you distract him until I'm done? Please? Distract him? Oh. You're still here? Oh, um, actually, there's something I'd like to ask you. What? The connection experiment is about to begin. Can't you wait until later? It won't take long. It's about the effectiveness of mental stabilization in regards to realians. 
Chief, please make it quick. I can't keep it much longer. Would you stop bothering me? I'm in a hurry. Please leave my room at once. Oh, um, we're sorry for disturbing you. Come on, Alan. Let's go. What? Oh, right. Special treatment area. What is it? won't open. Of course not. The area past here is restricted. You can't enter without permission. We were told to deliver this data to the test subject management wing. ID, please. Here. Confirmed. I'll release the lock. Hurry through. What is it now? What's that image? <clears throat> hey, what's that display showing? That's the surveillance camera for the isolated underground research wing. What about it? Oh, nothing. It just caught my eye, that's all. That place isn't something you need to worry about. Just get back to your posts. I'm sorry. Chief, that was a vessel of anima. Yes. There's no mistaking it. They're conducting experiments here to connect vessels of Anima and the Zohar. Brought the data. Uh, set it down there. D Dad? We're pressed for time. What's the status of the link with Fabronia? 
Values on the test subject side aren't stable. Fibronia probably hasn't fully recovered yet. Some amount of stress is acceptable. We'll continue the experiment. <gasps> Mom! You there. Forward the analysis data log. I want to confirm the error in sequence 306. What is this? Mom is being used in an experiment? What's wrong? Hurry up and confirm the data. Isn't she a member of your family? Hmm? What kind of experiment is this? How can you use a member of your family as a test subject? Ch chief I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about the atrocity of using a member of your own family as a test subject. And not just her. How many others have you people done this to? They're here because it's necessary. That's all there is to it. How is it necessary? Have you even studied this personal data? It's clear that they're suffering subconsciously. How can you use the sick and injured like this? Nonsense. That's just an issue with the numbers. You merely see what you want to see. She doesn't feel anything. She doesn't say anything. This is nothing more than peripheral nerve reflexes. You're just distorting the truth to rationalize what you're doing. What? You're the one who's distorting things. To begin with, since when does a mere staff member like you have the right to criticize this project? Know your place. <sighs> Daddy? Huh? Xion, how many times do I have to tell you you need permission to come here? Oh, but I'm worried about Mom's sickness. Today isn't a visitation day. You know that. Now hurry home. Leave Mom to us. But... Xion! I'll escort her out. You? Yes. I'm sorry for how I acted. I'm fatigued and a little emotional right now. Hmm. I see. Yes. Please take care of her. Come on, Xion. Let's go home. I'm sure your mom will get better soon. See all these doctors with her? Yeah. Um, your house is in block B32, right? What's wrong? I don't want to go home yet. But your dad's going to be busy with work until late. The soldier! Soldier? I want to visit the hurt soldier. Oh, you want to go to the church? Yeah, I'm going to bring him flowers. I see. Okay, let's go. Follow me. There's flowers in the garden outside. Pretty. Did you grow these yourself? Yeah! Beth gave me seeds! You know what? I'm gonna grow tons and tons more flowers and make Mom happy. Yes, I'm sure she'll like that. Now, shall we bring some flowers to the soldier? Yeah! Are you slacking off at your job and playing babysitter now? Mr. Winnicott, this is part of my job. Oh, excuse me. Still, I'm surprised to see people leisurely planting gardens in the middle of a war. It's at times like this when we need them the most. Is there something wrong with engaging in productive activity to counter the unnatural destruction of war? 
placing one against another and fighting is a defining aspect of human beings. Resisting it is unnatural. Your name is Kevin Winnicott, correct? You're a strange woman. Is my name that unusual? Are you really Kevin? Come on, let's go! Oh, right. Let's go to the church. Excuse us. Wait, where are you going? This is a shortcut! Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Come on! Right. Hmm, you're recovering smoothly. But you should stay in bed for a while longer. Tch, like I needed your help. Who the hell are you people? You aren't you, Tick, and you aren't Federation. But you act damn suspicious for mere civilians. I told you you need to get some rest. We can't reveal who we are for various reasons. But we aren't your enemy. There's no need for you to cause yourself unnecessary stress. Xion? What? Y yeah I brought Xion. Oh, right. Uh, what brings you here? Um, here. W what? Flowers? For me? Yeah, they bloomed real pretty. It's so you'll get well. What? You've got to be kidding. I don't need them. You won't take them? Uh, uh... Thanks. You're welcome. I hope you get better soon. Damn it. This isn't me. <laughs> T what are you laughing at? I'm sorry. It's just you look so different from when we first met. Well, excuse me for looking silly holding some flowers. Not at all. You look good with them. Damn it. Sounds like you're having fun. Fibronia, I'm glad you recovered. Don't come any closer to me, Reallian. Virgil? That's a Utic Reallian. Do you know how many of my comrades have died because of them? Virgil, stop it. She saved your life. I didn't ask for that. It makes me sick, thinking I've got a part of you in me. If I could move right now, I'd kill myself. Virgil, that's enough! This is none of your business. Please don't say such sad things. Everyone worked so hard to save your life. Please don't speak so lightly about throwing it away. What would a Realian know about the value of human life? It's true that I'm a Realian. We were created to serve human beings. My sisters are going through painful experiments for that purpose. But I feel no hatred for human beings, because it is the proof that we exist. Give me a break. A proof you exist? That's just how you've been programmed. It's fine if you feel that way, but my feelings right now are more than just a program. Huh? Your feelings? I want you to live. I'm starting to feel sick. I'm gonna sleep. Feb! We would never want people to suffer. I know. We'll come to understand each other someday. Let's pray now, Xion. What are you going to pray for, Feb? For my dear sisters. Please grant them a wonderful future. I see. Will I get to play with Cecily and Kath again? Yes. They're both looking forward to seeing you again. What are you going to pray for? For Mom to get better soon. And for the soldier to get better too. That's a good idea. Let's pray together.
Xi'an. Let's go. Jin? Losing control of Realians is an ingenious plan. A Trojan horse planted by their leader. It's an amusing scenario, though not a particularly flashy one. It was Winnicott's idea to make Mizrahi into a scapegoat. He's quite the tactician for his age. Did you hear that the transport carrying calibrated Realians was attacked by the Federation? No. I just lost a few Realian units. It won't affect the project. Although I am concerned about the Federation's next move. We know all the details of their descent operation. We'll be able to buy time until our VIPs are able to retreat. Good. So have you deciphered the Y data? No. I've found some file fragments. But he won't tell us a thing about it. I've got Winnicott trying to get some information from him, but who knows how it'll go. As long as the Zohar activation succeeds, we can deal with the rest later. What's the plan? We'll pick you and the others up along with the Zohar. I won't hold my breath. If it comes down to it, I can lift the whole Song of Nephilim into space. <laughs> 